Do you have a monkey in your pants? Hi I'm Fox, how's it going? This is a sort of a follow-up video from the previous video which was called Collecting Plans, Change of Plans, Selling Up, question mark, question, question mark. I was just reading it on the other monitor, hence why I was looking in said direction. Um, summarise, I decided to sell off all my carts um, and get Everdrives or whatnot um, and possibly play an original hardware, but something came up for sale on um, Game Trader on Facebook last week I think it was so I thought I'd give it a punt and see what um see what it's all about. It's a, it's a new console. I do have one of these consoles already um but to cut to the chase the chase if I can speak it is the mighty behemoth which is the Xbox One original original the original one. You know what I'm saying. So the Xbox has been modified with um Coinops six on it and it's got um, heaps of various various systems, SNES, Mega Drive, NES, MSX, Commodore 64, MAME, N64, I thought I saw a beastie up there, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Atari Lynx, Amiga, some PlayStation games, have I said that already? But, um, but the main thing I'll probably use it for, at least initially, is um, things like Mega Drive, Game Boy games, MAME, um, SNES plays really well on it as well. N64 plays well, but you can tell it's emulated if that makes sense. Still possibly thinking of going down the route of the Everdrive carts, but for now, I'm going to see how the behemoth oh. Xbox um, does. And it, it's pretty interesting, but whoever had it before me, it's got like every single Commodore 64 game, but it's only got maybe 50 Spectrum games on it. That's just not right. So obviously, I'm going to possibly have to sort that out and get some more Spectrum games on it. But I say it's mainly, primarily, to play the cart-based systems, um, to see how it plays, I should say, um, before going down the route of the EverDrive or SD to SNES carts. But I'll certainly see how it goes for me in the meantime. But what I thought I'd do, guys, is quickly jump over to... Well, the screen of the Xbox and show you what it's all about and show you what's on it and give you a rough idea of how it plays. So have a look with your eyes. Alright guys, this is a look at the Xbox um, with CoinOps 6 installed on it is what it's called. Um, I have had this connected up to the LCD TV in the living room earlier on, or LED TV. LCD LED, it's an LED LCD TV if that makes sense, and it looked pretty decent as well. Um, it also looks decent on this. Now you can see at the top there it's got 12,435 games on it, which is just insane. And um, you, I've basically got them sorted per console. From what I can tell, there's no way to search for a particular game, but it's on arcade games at the moment, so it's use the right trigger to go down. You see that. Um, get the little video and whatnot displaying. Let's find a game. A decent game. But there's absolutely piles and piles and piles of games. The quicker the longer and the quicker you keep your finger on the button if that makes sense. It didn't make sense but you know what I mean the quicker it scrolls. Try to find a game. We'll go with Double Dragon. There we go, you see it gets pretty quick, pretty quick. Pretty quick, pretty quick. That's Neo Geo Double Dragon, so it's obviously got Neo Geo games on it, which aren't under its own little Neo Geo section, which is a bit unfortunate. They're just under arcade, so um, press the A button and you'll get your Double Dragon. You can change the background there, different background pictures and whatnot, so it looks pretty decent. Um, I've not tried the arcade games on it yet, to be fair. So we'll see how it goes. It's basically a MAME emulator, as far I can tell. This game is for use in Japan. Double Dragon. How do you insert coins? That's a good bloody question. That's the insert coin button. There we go. Start. It's quite um, heavily interlaced was the option as well. Which I could probably switch off considering it's on an LCD telly. No, it's not, it's on a CRT telly, you know what I mean. What's the buttons? 
Jump. Kick. I love this game, but it's bloody brick hard. Here we go, guys, back at the screen. Some games exit using the start and back, but obviously some games, some systems don't. It's half the thrill of emulation, which at the end of the day is what this is. So these are arcade games, like I say. If you scroll down and through them like that, a million and ten of them. Scroll, uh, press right on the D-pad, and it jumps to the next system. Um, actually, that says arcade or home, which I don't want, so I'll set it. You can set the filter, you can see it across the screen, top of the screen I should say, if I can speak this evening. It says sort name by name and console, so we'll do console, so now it's set to arcade. And if you press right, it'll go to Amiga. I don't know how the Amiga games play. Um, I've not tried any of them because I do have an Amiga with a Comfort flashcard installed, so it's of no interest to me. But it's pretty cool to have all the same. Press right again, you've got Amstrad games. And there is um, a pile of them, to say the least. And I assume they're Amstrad CPC games, which it does. It hurts me to say they do look better than some Spectrum games. You can see again, there's piles and piles and piles of them. Piles of the games. Press right again, it changes to Atari 2600. Again. There's absolutely loads and loads and loads. Oh, I remember that game. And loads of games. E.T. Is E.T. on this? Possibly. I just saw Double Dragon as well. E.T. There we go. Never played it. I'm going to have to play that. Press right again. Atari 7800. Which is a system I never ever had. Curious to see how these play. Obviously you could play these on a, a standard emulator if you've not got the real machine on a PC but it's not connected up to a CRT telly box is it so Rampage of the Atari 7800 wow Scrapyard Dog I remember that from Atari Lynx so press right again and you've got Atari Lynx funny enough which is pretty cool because Atari Lynx is a cool system but I don't know, I don't rate the screen on it very well, and it's certainly not something you'd ever do gameplays on, etc. Oh, Gordo 106, one of my friends had that game. So you can play them on the modified Xbox on Coin Up 6. So press right again, you get Atari ST, and for some reason there's only one um, Atari ST game on it, International Karate. Right again, you got the Atari XL, which I think I've got a rough idea it was, one of the 8 bit Atari systems. Looks, um, I'm just scrolling through the games here as I talk. Gremlins, what's that look like on it? Uh, it's not that bad, the Tara XL, whatever it is. Ah, oh, that looks a bit the same as the Tara 2600 version. That's just that, I think. It doesn't look too bad. So if you press, oh, there's Tara XL there, press right again, you get classic games. So it ha does have a couple of Xbox original games on it, you've got Black um, and then these are DOS games I think from what I can tell Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom Hexen, Quake etc not too bad, I did try Descent and it didn't run particularly well to be honest with you but, um, press right again, you've got ColecoVision how many ColecoVision games do you, you need? a million and ten, oh that looked funky, Beam Rider got to try that so, ColecoVision, sorry, I just messed about there, just went to the options and changed the music. A system oh, I've never ever played. Again, this is a quick video, guys, just give you an idea of how many games and what different systems are on it. There's piles of them. And the music does pause while the, the next video loads, that's what's happening there. But absolute piles of them. So that's ColecoVision. Look at all them ColecoVision games. Spy Hunter, what's that look like on the ColecoVision? Yeah, it looks alright, that does. Press right again, you get the Commodore 64. And there's a pile of Commodore 64 games on this. And I mean a pile. Look at all them. Loads. A ridiculous amount of Commodore 64 games. Does anybody ever need this many Commodore 64 games? Oh, some of them have only got um, pictures as opposed to videos. But anyway, a lot of Commodore 64 games. Whether it is a complete set, I do not know. Press right again, and you get the DOS games. Now, it's the DOS games where I tried um, 
the game descent and it was very slow. This is um it uses DOSBox from what I can tell. Um we'll ever play any of these, probably not, but it's uh certainly pretty cool to have them all the same. Ooh that looks funky. As does the music's funky. Just press right again, you go to game gear. So you've got all your game gear games. That looks pretty cool for a game gear game actually. Scroll through them loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of Game Gear games. Millions. Press right again, you go to Game Boy. Which is pretty cool. That's what I can tell, it's like, I don't know if it's a complete set, but reams of Game Boy games, as you can tell. Press right again, you go to your Game Boy Advance. Which is pretty cool, pretty cool. And again, quite potentially a complete set of Game Boy Advance games as well. There's absolute piles of them, which is pretty cool to be fair. A, a system that I'll probably never collect. I have the odd, the odd game, but that's it. But Minish Cap, which I do own, is one that I'll be playing on this Xbox. Press right again. You got your Game Boy Color. Which again, it's pretty cool. Loads and loads of games. Loads of games. Press right again. You got your mass system. Again, piles of them. Right again, you've got Mega CD. Now, there's a few Mega CD games I have played, but I can't remember what they're bloody called. Or else I'd put one on. Um, one of them's like a a racing game, but it's like anime style. I'm having a look quick look through them. It's not Mega Race, is it? I don't think so. No, definitely not that game. Night Trap. <laughs> Have to try that. Secret of Monkey Island. Was that on the Mega CD? Again, all these may not be um, proper Mega CD games. They could be homebrews or whatever. Who knows? Anyway, we'll press right again and we've got Mega Drive. And again, piles of games. Look at all them. Blah, 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 millions and millions and millions of Master Weapon. Never played that. Loads of Mega Drive games. So I'll quickly do an example of Mega Drive games and why not just do Sonic the Hedgehog. Classic Mega Drive game. Press that button. Just takes a few seconds to load. The N64 games, I know it's take a little bit longer to load. I suppose it all depends on the size of it. The size of the ROM. But I was playing with this in the living room on the big telly, in the LCD telly, and it looks it looks really good on it, surprisingly. Um, I don't know if they've done anything to, to make it look different. We'll have a speed run. This runs, plays fine. No problems, no issues. Oh no, speed run's gone to itself. Um, yeah, it's really good. Cause oh, I'm tr oh, I'm trying to talk and do all this at the same time. Oh no, we'll just X out with that. So that's Sonic. You can see how well the the Mega Drive is emulated. It's emulated really well. What I want it for, or, or what I will be using it for, the the lower end systems. Like I don't mean the lower end systems with Mega Drive, the SNES, the NES, the Mass System, Mame, that sort of side of stuff. So the Mega Drive games galore. Press right again. You got your 32X games. Never played any 32X games, so I'll be curious. I don't know if there's more than that. I know it was a bit of a failure. Maybe there's more 32X games, I do not know. You got MSX as well as the next system. So MSX again, games that I've never ever played. Um, Tony from Arctic Adventures, an MSX guy, another great YouTuber, but ooh, that looks that looks blatant like the Spectrum port that does. I'm curious to try it. Look at all these MSX games because it's a system I've never ever seen. It's crazy. Crazy. So MSX, if you press right, you just saw it going out there. Neo, Neo Geo Pocket, which again, that's pretty cool. I have all these games here. What's that? Gals Fighter. Meh, do not know what any of these games are. Right again, you got your NES games. I'll put one on quickly so you can see how it plays. You'd expect it to play really well. Um, let me find it. 
find a game. Nice. And the, yeah, so hard, really hard for you to tell, but it looks really, really good on the screen. Really nice graphics, really crisp. These are basically, these are basically the final fight guys, eh? But um, it does look really good. I was going to say, obviously, you've only got uh, two buttons, haven't you? Punch. Punch and jump, with it being an S. It looks really good, actually, really good. Nice. You can see, it obviously, it plays really well as well, as you'd expect. Whoa. Nice. It's another game called Ransom City or something like that. I'll have to try that. So I'll come with that. Let's give you an idea of how the NES games play. So if they think this is going on a bit, guys, but I thought I'd just show you the ins and outs of it if it's something that you think of doing if you've got an Xbox console kicking about yourself. So that's NES games. You can tell it's most probably a complete set there. There's absolutely piles of them. Press right again, you get to your N64 games. Um, seems to emulate it all right, but you can certainly tell it's emulated. And one game that's not on it is Blast Corps, which is what I wanted to play. Um, we will do what will we do? We'll do Super Mario 64. Just to give you an idea. Everybody knows what Super Mario 64 should look like. There we go. Super Mario 74. No idea what that is. It's most probably a a homebrew or a rom hack or something like that. But I say you can tell this is emulated, and I, what I mean by that is I emulated the N64 when Ultra HLE first came out when I was at university. Um, and I don't know, there's just something you can certainly tell when an N64 is emulated. It doesn't look very muddy, it looks too crisp. You get the odd little graphical glitch, glitches, the text in some games don't quite look right and Mario is one of them but apart from that it, it, it looks better than an N64 but for example the text and um, you'll see in the next section doesn't look exactly what it looks like on the N64 but certainly it's still more than playable more than playable but there's obviously some games missing because Blast Corps isn't there which is a game that I wanted um, if I ever figure out how to put the extra games on it and whatnot. I may do so in the future, um, but again, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Come on, camera fudge, get going. But I say, it doesn't seem to be as muddy graphics on emulation compared to N64. And obviously, with it on an Xbox, I'm using an Xbox original controller, so you've not got the exact same control layout as what you do on the original hardware. And there you go, the text there. That is always a telltale sign that this game is emulated. I've not seen an emulator. I've not had experience of an emulator, I should say, that um, doesn't have that text issue. Come on, but I'll give you a quick idea of how this plays. Mario 64. Love this game. In you go, son. We'll just quickly go into the first world. You can see it's more than playable. It might not look the exact same as the original in some instances with regards to the text and there, there's maybe other little bits here and there. But if, if, if you've got an Xbox original sitting about and you don't have an original N64 and you don't have the games, you don't have the money for the games and you don't have an EverDrive car, then it's a decent way to be able to easily play these games on a tally. There you go. Gives you an idea of what it runs like anyway. No problems. X out of that. And we'll see what the next system is that's on it. Just takes a few seconds to kick back out of that. Um I just I just wish Blast Corps was there. I like Blast Corps. <laughs> oh never play that. So press right again and you've got a PC engine. Which, to be fair, is a game that I'll probably never ever own, a system that I'll maybe never own. But this gives me the ability to play it quite easily on an old school CRT telly without sitting at my PC monitor hitting some keyboard buttons. There you go, it's pretty cool. And you've also got PC Engine CD. Um, a couple of games, I don't know how many PC Engine CD games there are, but there's a couple there. I'd imagine there is more than that. 
next after that you got the PlayStation. Now there are a couple of PlayStation games on it. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, there you go, you can see them scrolling there. Tekken and that's it. But what I've found is, especially while well, I play the Tekken games, it doesn't have the audio soundtrack. And the only reason I can think is because that takes up a lot of hard drive space. Um, the actual music files. So it's not real interest to me anyway. PlayStation, whatever reason, something I'm not really interested in emulating. I'm not really interested in emulating CD based systems. We press right again, you've got Sega SG1000, which is um, arcade. Sega arcade systems, I think, from what I can tell. You've got Bomb Jack there. What, Dragon Wang? That's an awesome name. Never really heard of many of these games. Hang on to. Have I heard of Hang On 2? No, that's a bit iffy iffy looking. James Bond 007? Is it the James Bond 007 we know? No. <laughs> Press right again and you go to Spectrum. Now, whoever set this up is obviously a Commodore 64 fan because there's hardly any Spectrum games on it. Which is deeply upsetting. That's it, basically the end of Spectrum games. After that, you've got Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo plays as you'd expect. Um, no problems at all with emulation for what I've seen. And I think it's a complete set, as is the, the Mega Drive. Which is pretty cool. Clock Tower as well, nice. Press right again, you've got the VIC-20. And I would be lying if I said I knew what the VIC-20 is. Not some sort of Commodore based machine. I don't know. But again, um, well, there was only a couple of like 20 games actually. Then you go into the Virtual Boy, which is something that's pretty cool to have. Space Squash on the Virtual Boy. Press right again, you go to the X68000. No idea what that is. Really? No idea what that is. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Press right again, and you go to Xbox. It does have a couple of. Xbox games on it, and that's it. So press right one more time, and we'll go to the arcade. But there you go, guys. That's a very, 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 very quick look at Coin Up Six running on my original Xbox. Twelve thousand games, amazing. I'm gonna have to figure out how to maybe stick the odd game on it that's missing, as well as um, Spectrum games, because that's. A very easy way to sit and play a Spectrum game rather than waiting on it loading. Um, emulating Spectrum games are nigh on identical to the real thing. They have been for a long time and the fact that you're not playing on a PC monitor, you'd be playing on a CRT TV and you don't have to wait on any loading times either. There you go, we'll start that there guys. So, coming up 6 running original Xbox. I was going to say one, but it's not one. You know what I mean. Right, guys, so that was a, I was going to say a quick look. Maybe it was a slightly extended look at um, my original X. I want to call it a fucking Xbox One, but I can't, can I? Darn you, Microsoft. Um, the original Xbox One and CoinOps 6. Like I said, I got this. Um, there is a guy on Facebook page that does these. Um, sells your machine as it is, but somebody else was selling one that he'd already done. Um, a guy had bought it from this chap who sets them up and it was selling it on and I decided to buy it from out of curiosity but excuse me I've got windy poops pops it's um it's it's quite interesting for example that the main games the NES the SNES the Mega Drive the Mars System Game Gear and um, PC Engine Spectrum Commodore 64 probably the MSX um all run perfectly fine on it N64 you can certainly tell it's emulated, but um, if you can live with that, again, it runs fine with it. So you saw what was all on there, pretty impressive stuff. When you try and stick the odd game on it, it seems to be missing. And for the time being, anyway, go with that. And um, obviously I mentioned EverDrive cartridges and whatever, I still may. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that and see how it works out with me for a little bit before I jump in and throw £100, £150 at an EverDrive cart, for, for example. Downside of it, obviously, um, emulation may not always be perfect, um, and also you're not playing with the original hardware controllers. But it's a curiosity, and I'm I'm seeing how it's going to go, and um, 
yeah, see what I think of it. I'll give it a little bit of time as it is. But you never know, I may just jump on the bandwagon. On the bandwagon? What bandwagon? I didn't even mean to say bandwagon. You never know, I may just um, jump and get the Everdrive carts anyway and use it mainly for the likes of MAME or Commodore 64, PC Engine, stuff like that. But it's pretty impressive to be fair and if you do have a, a, an original Xbox kicking about, um, I'd certainly look into doing it if it's something you're interested in. But it is what it is. It's emulation. Um, people have their views on emulation and whatnot, but yeah, it's not too bad for what it is on an Xbox original. If I'm really struggling to speak this evening, I can't be bothered to edit this. That's it, guys. Like I say, quick look at my Xbox original with the coin up six installed in it. As always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And this is dropping frames like a bitch. Why is that? So that was a quick look at my Xbox original with coin up six installed in it. But as always, guys, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. The fuck is this fucking thing all fucking? Do you have a monkey in your pants? <laughs>